Greetings, everyone, from the future AVAC, speaking to you from the past. Don't try to think about it too much. Timey-wimey, spacey-wacy stuff happened. Basically, this is being tacked on at the beginning of the uh, the upcoming video. Now, quick forward. Uh, I hate having to do this, but the game crashed. Um, I was playing through the game uh Following the last episode, we basically carried on. We went through some quests. We got to a couple of cutscenes. It was pretty awesome. I was having a fantastic time. I really enjoyed it. And I think that came across in the way I was reacting to things I hadn't seen before, the way I was um, responding to just the general atmosphere of the cutscenes. And then during a sequence of cutscenes, uh, the game crashed on loading. Very disappointed. It actually sent me back further than the beginning of that episode. It sent me all the way back to the beginning of the last episode because this game is saved. So I've gone ahead and I have replayed up to the beginning of the episode that you're about to see, more or less. I, I've done everything, I think, in, in much the same way I did before. I've learned to read, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, then I paid for a night at the inn and I slept so that the game auto-saved. So there we are, that's where we are now. Now, sometimes when this sort of thing would happen, I would simply let you know that I was replaying it again and I'd replay it again. However, as I mentioned, I really enjoyed the, the cutscenes and just the atmosphere that was happening in the story. And I think I would never be able to capture that same uh, first time uh, experience of seeing these cutscenes and reacting to them in in the uh, in in a follow up recording where I was doing it all again. So I'm just going to include the part up to the crash from the the last recording, and then I will try to seamlessly blend it into hopefully where it doesn't crash, and then I see what comes after it. Props to you if you can work out where that that cut happened. Tell me in the comments if you think you know where that transition with the timestamp, and I'll I'll let you know if you're right. But uh, with that, I'm going to switch to the past past me the even past the me at the beginning of this episode uh, again so uh enjoy everyone greetings everyone and welcome back to kingdom come and to the tavern in ushits where uh we're gonna go and uh i don't want to play that right now actually well maybe i do thinking about it uh, uh, no 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 first investigations then dice god be with you and with you uh, you can't tell me anything though, so moving on. I'm gonna assume that the villagers probably Good health don't to have you. much to say, but if I were designing the game, I would bury some extremely important bit of info in amongst all of the villagers who I would basically have been trained not to talk to because so many of them don't tell Good me anything you. new. So I am gonna check them all. Who, for example, here? I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young Hail fellow me. like you? Well, what do I care? Ask. Interesting. Okay. But yes, as, as I was saying, it, it, it would be something I would do. I'd, I'd train people to think, yeah, all villagers are going to say exactly the same thing, and then I'd just give a villager who has no no particular name or indicator some extremely important bit of information, just to reward the thorough. Uh, right, who is this Lubosh? Who was that murdered? man Lubosh who was murdered, what was he like? He was a strange one, always drinking, bad-tempered. Lord knows how he made a living. Well, maybe now I've got an idea or two. Fair enough. Did you notice anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? I didn't see much of him lately. Not even in the tavern. Not till yesterday in church as it happens. And what was he doing on the night of the raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home at all. Wait. Are you saying he... Jesus! That is exactly what I'm saying. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? I really don't know. As far as I know, he had no kin. I never saw him with anyone. Fair enough. Thank you very That's much all. for your help. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Moving on. God be with you. And with you. But you have nothing that I want what to hear right this? now. Ooh. Talking to the uh, 
The serving maid will be a good idea. Hello. You look like me exactly like the fellow I just talked to. My respect to you, sir. And to you. Oh. I, I, my respects are still with you. Just you don't have much to say. Hello, Maple. Good health to you. And to you, Maple. <sighs> Nothing to say. But that's fine. It does make things a little bit easier for me. Oh, you are dressed fancy. Ah, innkeeper, of course, yes. You also might Jesus be the person Christ to talk be to. Praised. Indeed. Right. Well, innkeep. What say you? Jesus Christ be praised. Okay, fair enough. Now, what's happening around here? A pl oh, place to see. Aha, we could save here. Uh, what's happening around here? Is there here? anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. The guy was eviscerated. Uh, just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. Oh. Uh, he's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Hmm. Anything else? Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Nothing out of the ordinary, praise God. Except for that one thing I just told you about. Uh, very well. Uh, right, let's go and... Oh. I guess I did take a little bit of time. Oh, hello. I would like to speak with you. I'll get out of your way though first. Uh, okay, nothing new to say there. Very well, I'm gonna head on inside, speak with anyone who might be on the inside. Uh, Vashek, we've already talked to you. Um, we'll talk to both villagers. God be with you. And with you. No, nothing there. Okay, we're probably getting down to uh, the point where we're gonna go Jesus and talk Christ, with Jesus Christ, be praised. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, well, very well. Time to leave then. Uh, let's see. It is getting late actually. We might want to take Pebbles swiftly over to the church. Uh, right. Leo, can we go in? It looks like we can. Fantastic. Church that doesn't close its doors. I approve of this. Hello. Uh, right. Hello, Father Godwin. Do you have any work for me? Uh, can I ask you a few questions about Lubosh? The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know, Lou? I wasn't expecting was that voice. Like, a bit that of a accent. lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Okay. Interesting. Um, did you notice anything suspicious? Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. Fair People point. like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well played, sir. I raise my cup to you. Well played indeed. That was a fantastic response. Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. Uh, he confessed. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confession. Ah, yeah. To be expected. There has to be some exception. Uh, I don't think there has to be, but uh, it doesn't look like I can not take this anyway, so... Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances. And this is one of them. I have a feeling that that's not entirely true. Um, you could con be condemning innocent people to death. I'll get that confession out of you by force. No, I'm not going to threaten a priest. Uh, he can't be hurt, but I don't think that's what it, what it's about. I, I think 
Although this is a lower stat, I'm going to go with this one because it feels like the right thing to say. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that? Okay, and that's you know not how I expected to deliver it. To death? I can, because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Fair enough. Um... Lubosch may be my only lead. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Okay, Suppose thank you very talk much. talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Sure, that actually. Thank you, Father. Sounds fantastically generous. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. Very well. Uh, meet you at the tavern. In the, are you are you heading there right now? Oh my lord, you are. That is fantastic. Ah, but 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 but. What time is it? Uh, it's getting late. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do something really quickly, and hopefully, it's not gonna waste too much time. But. Father, thank you. I will join you for that cup of wine on me, of course, uh, in just a moment. Quickly now, Pebbles. We need to ride like the wind. We need to get back to that house so I can look on the wall. Whoosh. Uh, try, try not to do anything too flashy, Pebbles. I'm not that good of a, of a horse rider yet. Uh, actually, thinking about it, I should have spoken with Vashik while I had the chance and uh, became a little bit of a better horse rider. Right. Thank you, Pebbles. You hold tight there. I just need to have a look at this. Uh, what? Someone move the body! Trent. No! Really? That is so frustrating. <laughs> that is so frustrating. So I, I was meant to know before I looked. Apparently. Uh, that is, I was meant to know how to read before I looked, because afterwards, no, nope, no chance. That is frustrating. I would have imagined that the nat, especially because this is the way into the, uh, into the town. I would have considered that the natural order of things, that you'd see that, see you needed to learn how to read, you go off and learn how to read, then you come back. Or even if you didn't do it in that order, you'd enter the town in that direction. So it seems really, really bizarre that that, uh, that I can't do that now. I must confess, I'm a little bit frustrated. Uh, have have you seen? Hey, look out! Oh, lout! What? <sighs> that is truly annoying. Uh, see is ah, yeah. fantastic. Hello. Seems we have some extra company as well. That looks like a very nice, comfortable seat. Here. <sighs> you right. Okay. Father Godwin. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But I'm first, open to I'd that. like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Uh, very well. I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, you know Scalitz. Okay. What about your kin? <sighs> Unfortunately, they're dead. They're dead. But you want to know. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. Pull me an ale. It was, actually. It was terrible. But I've got a funny feeling you want so to hear the story. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl... My even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Talmberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... One beer for me. My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Oh, you know Bernard, do you? Um, he did send him, actually. 
He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. Yeah. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. That's fair. Okay, uh, this time they weren't exaggerating, however. It was the rumors brutal. aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Unfortunately. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confession wow, that was seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once... You'll forever be tempted to do it again. It's completely fair. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even Tell the most the hideous best. crime. God bless them. Um. Then I've reached a dead end. Uh, I I don't know because I I see where he's coming from. I, making excuses seems unfair. I mean, I feel that we've reached a dead end. I'm. I'm I'm not going to pressure a priest who's made it abundantly clear they have no intention of 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 betraying their vows. I, I mean, there are certain things that, that especially at this this uh, time period, but people would believe that were much worse than anything that could go on in life. One of them is definitely a priest effectively promising something to God and then saying no and, and breaking that promise. It's like, yeah, it's not exactly something you'd want to encourage someone to do, even if you had the chance of convincing them. Still, um, no, I'm, I'm... Let's be amicable about it. It's not... It's, it's just accept it, though. I will say that what Henry just said, like, oh, let's learn something about you. Right, we've done everything. Now, that was odd. It was like something had been skipped. I hope that wasn't a bug and I missed out on some really pertinent information. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. I've heard here. If I tell One you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. One beer for me. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of okay. honor? Okay. On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If okay. I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? My pleasure. It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. Help. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially yeah. if they're about Enjoy. fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started God. preaching in Prague, in the Czech okay. language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. Okay. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. 
They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and Holy his nail. people too. Amen. I imagine everyone here is like, well, what on earth is going on there? He's quite I'm a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. Okay. I'm one with them in poverty yeah. and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. There. Satisfied? Okay. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? What do you think of hosts? The teachings of Master Who's... Coming. What are folks saying about it? Enough about preaching. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. All of the neighbors. Good harvest. Teaching of Master Who's... Where can I find out more about his teachings? All right, all right. You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Ooh, okay. Um, what do you think of Hoos? What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Ah, okay, so you're against... Preaching against debauchery, which is, it makes this option even more interesting. Uh, what are folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe? No, I don't know about that. Uh, you want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives One in sin beer. with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, for, for debauchery? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Fair enough. That was, that was fairly simple. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? I have not drunk that much. What do you surely. suppose? We have a drink, of course. <laughs> oh, my Lord, okay. Here you are. Um, and good help. I, 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 I've got to be honest. I'm fairly certain that, that he's going to drink yeah. me under the table, back up on the other side, over the table, and then back under. But yeah. I'm, I'm amused. Enjoy. Um... I'm not in the mood for boozing. I, I mean, maybe I shouldn't be, considering I don't see a tankard in front of Henry, but he's getting superly drunk. I think he's just getting drunk on the atmosphere, but okay. I say that's a good plan. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Reached a new level in drink. It's kind of nice to see Henry actually having fun. It's been constantly on the go. All that stress would make someone pop. It's probably the first time I've seen him actually chill out. Seems like everyone else is enjoying it as well. Who were Henry? Seems uh, getting plenty of courage from all of this boots. Wow, really? You're arm wrestling a priest? <laughs> oh my goodness, where is this going? How much have you drunk? Too much by the looks of it. Enough of this! What? Bailiff! Oh dear. Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. But we're so inside. What? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. 
Everyone knows the only one around here who can ride is me. Wow. Enough. Men. Amusing. Throw them Probably out. Probably not the best time. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, really? Shouldn't treat the priest like Are you that. You looking for a fight? Whoa, 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 whoa! Henry, back me up. Against the uh, uh, the bailiff? Oh, apparently yes. Against the bailiff. Bro code is, is at stake here. It seems. Uh, though, though, you know, I'm just being a good Christian. I'm, I'm protecting the priest. Hopefully, I, I'm, I'm stupidly drunk though. I'm, oh, oh dear. Okay. Oh, all right. There we go. Nope, you're not getting back up. Get away from my horse! Don't make me punch my horse. I'm very angry with you. Okay, let's go with you then. Nope. Let's try and just work our way through here. I've got quite a lot of warfist going now, so I'm reasonably strong. I think he's down. Wow, okay. Henry's actually getting significantly uh, more powerful. I'm just, wow, I'm amazed. Okay, they don't really. I'm gonna have to beat the bailiff now. Come then, get away from the priest. You haven't been drinking with me. You haven't, you haven't earned my. Well, actually, you kind of have earned my respect. You're the bailiff, for goodness sake. What are you making me do, priest? Oh my lord. What? I'd love to. And Henry, too, I'm sure. Uh, right, Henry. I've no Stop idea. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? I can't say. What they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dears. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're a buffoon. Then why are you following him in there? Also, Godwin, are you related to anyone? Uh, Sir Sanchez, um, I, I can't see a passing resemblance. Oh, you, you were, you were quite Here literal. We are. Oh, okay. Look at this beauty. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. I, I can't, I can't say that the bailiff's going to be too happy, I think. Can we? Who says? Whether we can, whether we should. I, uh, oh dear. <laughs> Ah, I mean, on the plus side, maybe the bailiff is knocked out. Maybe the bailiff won't even know. This is wonderful. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Ah, bloody elf. Uh, I can't imagine this is going to go well. I really can't. And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. Okay. <laughs> Well, I can't say that I'm uh, too surprised, but at the same time, come here. Well, it looks like we had a pleasant night. Oh. Uh. Oh. The priest has. Oh, the night is still still young. I see. You say, Henry. Shall we take a little ride of our own? Uh. Well, now. <sighs> Uh, it seems I don't get too much of choice. Uh, honestly, uh, well, let's be honest. We're, we're probably, uh, probably uh, <laughs> at a point where I don't think Henry would make make any choice that I told him to make. I think uh, an entirely different part of him is making all the decisions right now. Okay, what? Is this a Welsh joke game? Are you taking a shot? Maybe not, though I am... Wow, I'm still drunk? How drunk did I get? Am I am I falling over sideways? I, I think I think I might be actually. Well, the Godwin, can you stop trying to talk to the sheep? Look, the, game, the game might be taking taking a shot at me because I'm Welsh, but you definitely can't talk to sheep. You're Bohemian. Well, I have to say that was that a was... fine evening. Um, yeah, you know what? As far as sunrises go, that doesn't mean oh, that, well. Um, <coughs> It, it was quite beautiful. I mean, the sunrise still is, but <laughs> I cannot believe we just got absolutely destroyed with booze. And uh, yeah, yeah, we joined the priest in some uh, cavorting around with with 
Hail mate, and uh, hmm. Godwin, you beast. Wow. Well. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, oh fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh. Really? Can't be that bad. Henry, my great friend Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Uh, well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Uh, is is, uh, is uh, the sheep still? Oh, my head. Mm, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Well, we did drink a lot, by the seems of it. What was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. Oh, dear. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? What? My sentiments exactly. So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just okay. came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Well, I, I heard you preach Henry, about look, what Jan What I preaches. remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. <laughs> and if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. Uh, don't show about that. All that. Oh. How about this? But I do accept that you're you probably in no state this. to help. I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Ooh. Oh, that's just that's just evil. That's just evil. Using bribery. How many times has my drinking leveled up tonight? Oh my lord. Okay. Um. No, never get away with it. The confessional seal isn't sacred. I, I'm not gonna test him about this. I may be drunk, but I'm not stu well, I, Okay, I may be stupid, but I'm not stupid drunk. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I'm I'm still not going to tell him not to do the thing that I want him to do, but I can't guarantee the results. Well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Okay. Then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and oh, that's that. Oh, was I meant to be taking no notes? No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Almighty. If it turns out well? Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Let's get to it, then. I I, I feel this is going to go really poorly. I, how much do I... Oh, wrong thing. Do I need food? Oh, no. My speech is destroyed. Why? Why am I so drunk? Why? My drunkenness. As a state of spiritual well-being that only the drunk himself can appreciate. Drunkenness comes on gradually and its level is shown by the gold of background. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, you get to the halfway mark, the greater the bonus. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, up to the halfway point of the birth, your strength, speech, and vitality increase more. Oh, no, this is, this is full-on drunkenness. When you pass the halfway point of the birth, the effect of drunkenness will change, which is also shown in the icon. Your strength, speech, vitality, and charisma will be penalized by two at most. Uh, do I have something that can help me with this? Uh, do I, do I, do I, do I? Food. That won't help. Uh, yes! Yes! Eat! Uh, no, what? Uh, no, wait. Within one minute, we'll cure light wounds or dispel hangover effects. Yes. Wait a second. I, oh, I'm trying to apply it. Okay. All right. Let's hope the worst of this hangover is gone. Uh, I do still need food, though. 
Eat from the pot. Come on then, what's the hold up? No time to waste. Okay, I'm coming. I needed to stop being drunk. Sorry for burping in your face. That was incredibly uncalled for. Uh, is that something I can wash in? Yes. Grow fresh enough? Oh, I won't get any clean. All right, all right. I'm here. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm I'm overnourished now. Apparently, I'm I'm far too nourished. That is unfortunate. Uh, what did it say? Within one minute. Uh, let's hope that that is gonna be fast enough. Uh, let me see my buffs. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope this all all, all helps. It might not. De uh, I mean, hangover might be a very different effect. I mean, my vision is still wobbly. Maybe it's only gonna affect that. Who knows? We'll just have to hope. Oh, this is this is the, the, the worst drunken night that I take. I mean, in real life as well. I mean, I've been pretty drunk. I mean, I played rugby. I mean, come on. But <laughs> rugby drunkenness is, is it is a thing to behold. You but show up the swill pot. I've never gone drunk with a priest. Hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. I never had to Look give a sermon in the morning because the priest is still so drunk. Any minute now, we throw up. That is genuinely a, a pretty epic level of drunkenness. Animals, I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. I slept. Not that well. I, I slept, at least. In nomine patres, et fili, et spiritus sancti. Amen. Accepit panem in it's sanctas at venerabiles manus suas. Did he just burp? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Hac facite in meam commemoratione. <laughs> what is he about? To... Oh my lord. Hello. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. Henry, don't have that face. You may have had the that honor of meeting Henry from Scarlet's, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush <laughs> to so investigate ridiculous. that heinous crime at Neuhof. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead with bribery and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. <laughs> In just like like my like undergarments. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Which one the number puke first? No. I'm gonna hold my my drink. Damn it. Um. Sorry, lengthy. Uh. No. We'll begin the sermon confidently. Brothers okay. and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. That boy has a cheek. Aha. Um. Let's see. Uh, God stands at the head of the church. One should not believe in the church because the church is not God. God is above all things. Oh, that sounds, that sounds is familiar. Means to salvation, which the prelates do not care to hear. He's Aha. right. Okay, I've, I've, they're, they're warming to me, I think. Uh, wordily, I'm... He was pretty angry while he was telling me this, sermon, so I'm going to go harshly. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, cumans, hunger, and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. Oh wait, no, that you want to baptize familiar. a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For well, shame, shame upon them. Indeed. Um, talk about the sin for um. 
Oh no no, he he told me that he did not agree about about the whole. The it is the custom stuff. of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, the, the and it priest. is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Shifty eyes. Very shifty eyes. Um Yeah, I don't I don't think he I think he just stayed pretty pretty aggressive throughout the rest of it. So Enough about awesome. sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too oh, yeah, would that, ascend that to that heaven? And what about about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the pellets! Away with them! Indeed. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. Uh, include God. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't criticize Godwin. I mean, come on. For many reasons, not just because he's got something I want. We, we're going to God stand sees up for what him. is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. I, all honour to yes. Godwin. Yes, yes, all honour to Godwin. Like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Pronounced Prague, spelt Ujit's Tavern. The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. Oh, come on He's now. right, that hus. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver tongue. Yeah, to be fair, I'm quite impressed with him. I wonder if that's because I learned to read. <laughs> I'm literally there in my underwear. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. You're welcome, mate. And I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin, uh, so is gluttony and fornication. God does Don't forgive them. Then. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Okay, now there's the interesting Was he at stuff. Neuhoff that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Okay. Don't what let me down me? after all I've been through. For you, well, I, 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 now Lubosch came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say... Uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. Okay. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. <laughs> so I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. Pius, Timmy. Pius. <laughs> okay. That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. 
you would make an excellent priest. After today, I, I actually don't doubt that. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? <laughs> well, we'll have try. to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, uh, I'll try. Give it a bit of time. Mate, I'm not sure I'd survive another night mm. of your debauchery. Yeah, anyone should ask. priest to be that good at drinking. You heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. Ah, uh, that was that was an interesting night. Productive, in more ways than one. <sighs> Am I dressed? I am still not dressed. Oh, I should have put my clothes up. You know what? That, that makes surprising amount of sense. Yeah, I should have worn clothes. I should have worn clothes when I went there. Uh, <laughs> why am I so dumb? Okay, well, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure no one noticed. So, so overcome were they by by the the flowery words flowing from my silver tongue. Yes, indeed, they they were quite quite overwhelmed they they did not for a moment notice my uh my state of undress no no they were they were far they they they, they were blinded by by the the godly glow that was emanating from me for for i am clearly one of the chosen certainly i speak as one all right there we are okay well uh on the same track down Riki. so many new objectives now let's have a quick look on the scent one of the members of the Neuhoff gang, a fellow who goes by the moniker of Riki, should be somewhere in the vicinity of Ledechko. Unfortunately, that's about all I could find out so far. I expect it shouldn't be too hard to, well, catch the scent of this Riki, though I don't expect him to be a pleasant encounter. No, not with a name like that. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have to head up there, but um, before we do, I, I, I feel obliged, okay? Now... It could be argued that it was just a night of drunken reverie and everyone involved knew exactly what it was and expect nothing more of it. But that being said, the uh, uh, ale maid did wave and smile at me in, in, the, in, the, in the group. So I, I feel obliged. I, not just obliged, I want to. We're going to go and have a chat. Hello. I, 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 can't, I can't chat. I can only pickpocket. What? Look at that face. That is that is a face that does not want to talk to me. That is that is actually made me quite sad. Wow. That is Hmm. I think we're gonna end the, the episode there, actually. Uh I do hope you have all enjoyed. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that cutscene, because you know, YouTube as it is right now, I do have to uh, consider certain things like uh, whether whether the video will Stop get someone. What? Are you serious? Really? you just ran into me? Get away with this! What? I mean, not my problem. Uh, but uh, yes, what is my problem is that cutscene. I may have to fuzz that a bit or even do a bit of a fade to black. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about the inclusion of mild nudity and those sorts of scenes. I'm sure most of you won't mind at all. And it really is only uh not playing this game i mean if that sort of thing happened in stardew then i could i could understand people being well you know i was just letting my kids watch this because it's stardew valley and then suddenly sex and go on violence and stuff but this is kingdom come deliverance so i imagine anyone who's following this series really has no problem with it but the problem is that youtube may so yeah we'll see how all of that goes but uh, that is going to be it from me so thank you very much for joining me i do hope you enjoyed and will be joining me in the next but until then and as always do take care everyone